Elon Musk has a bold new forecast. The billionaire founder of Tesla and SpaceX said Monday that humans must someday merge with machines in order to avoid becoming obsolete. Musk, who's known for making bold claims and predictions, made the comments during a speech in Dubai. In his latest observation, he warned that disruption from driverless cars will happen more quickly than people realize, and humans need more processing power to better compete with computers as artificial intelligence technology improves. Musk says if you can't beat the machines, it's better to become one. If we show up, we're gonna show up Smoother than a fresh shot, skip it uh, I'm too hot, hot day uh, Call the police and the fireman I'm too hot, hot day Make a dragon want to retire, man I'm too hot, too hot, hot day hot day. say my name, you know who I am I'm too hot, hot day And my man bowed down, money break it down Girls hit your hallelujah Girls hit your hallelujah Girls hit your hallelujah Cause I'm Tim Fong gonna give it to you Hey y'all, welcome back to Go 72 Tarot. And today, I wanted to discuss the big one on the conspiracy theory list. Now, I am somewhat of a conspiracy theorist. I don't believe everything is what it seems, and I certainly don't believe in coincidences. But now, even for me, some of these theories or thoughts or things that people are you know, running to believe it's true, is a little bit far-fetched out there for me. And some things I look at and I'm like, okay, I can see, I can see that being completely true. So I'm just going to go ahead and address the big one, which is the reasoning behind a lot of what's going on. It's, um, the big one in the conspiracy theory community is the end game, the end game of the elite. Now, whether you want to refer to them as Illuminati or Deep State, White Hats, Black Hats, whatever term you want to give them, i just go ahead and say the elite because I, I'm not sure exactly what they are. I have a, my own gut feeling as far as that goes. But the big topic is that their end game in all of this is merging the human DNA with machines. That's supposedly the uh, reasoning why there's graphene in the, um, let's see, I'm trying to think of a word to use so I don't hit in a logarithm here, um, in your potion that they're pushing for everybody to get. That, that's the agenda in it is population control for one. And that the end game is merging human DNA with machines. That's this virtual reality, metaverse, all, that's what all this is leading up to. 5G, all of that. So without further ado, and I know I probably should have broke this down into some smaller reads, but I wanted to do a reading on whether or not the end game for the elite is merging human DNA with machines. Now, there's much to be discussed on that. I'm not sure exactly. I know something is up, but I'm not sure exactly what. And this is what's been widely, I guess, come to terms with. Everybody's come to terms with or, or agreed upon. And I'm not sure how I feel about it. So we're going to do a read. And I don't have any specific questions to ask. I'm just going to lay the cards and let the cards explain to us exactly what they want to all right 
Now, here we go. I ask that this reading be guided from the placement of the cards to the interpretation. May the interpretation be clear, concise, and accurate. I ask this with gratitude and humility. Thank you. Okay. All right, cards. My question that I'm looking for answers to is... Is the end game of the elite to join human DNA and humans, merging it with machines, making us one with the machines? Is that the end game of the elite? Here we go. All right, now let's see what we can put together here. Okay, now this first card is a Six of Swords reversed. And that card shows us moving into troubled waters, um, jumping out of the frying pan and into the fire. So a troubled time ahead. Okay. The next one is the High Priestess. The High Priestess tells us that now is the time to trust our intuition. Our instincts are, and to go with our gut feelings. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to say that my gut feeling is that there's too much evidence showing that this could be a possibility. So I'm going to say that instead of this going to move, moving into trouble waters, um, out of the frying pan and into the fire, is a yes for me. Okay, let's move on. The Knight of Cups. Now, Nine of Cups represents an emotional time. Um, telling you, now is the time to take action um, following and to follow your heart. See, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going with this as a yes. Uh, the next card is the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords represents uh, deception, lies, trickery. Um, it's a card that shows mental manipulation, uh, tactics, scheming, underhanded behaviors, fraud. It also shows escaping detection and getting away with something. So I'm going to see this as this magical potion that they're wanting everybody to take. Escaping detection and getting away with something. They are already uh, um, injecting things into, um, into people. So this is all heading towards a yes for me. The next is a Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is, um, in, in this reading to me, I would put it down as it's you or someone that you're doing the reading for is not receptive of the reading. And it says to either wait three days or lay the cards again. Uh, the last one is going to be the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is a card of hastiness, speed, uh, movement, action. It's a, it's a card of sudden action. So this looks like that this is going to be happening suddenly. So true to it says to lay the cards again. I don't expect everybody to be receptive to that because I wasn't sure how I felt about it. I just knew that, oops, that it wasn't going to, it wasn't on the up and up. So I was going to lay the cards again here. I know for sure that something is not right about this whole, um, I'm trying to think of words to use here <laughs> so I don't get dinged. Um, this disease, I guess, that um, they're saying that they're coming up with all these different uh, strains and stuff too. Um, I know from... Working in the medical field previously myself and from having family members in the medical field that this wasn't exactly what the government tried to say it was. Apparently there is an agenda. I, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but let's draw these cards again. Here we go.
Holy is this so far is reversed. Okay. Okay, now this first card is going to be the Ten of Wands reversed. The Ten of Wands reversed uh, signifies an insurmountable problems. Being duty bound. Somebody being resigned to their fate. Okay. Here we go. The next one, the Queen of Wands. It's taking charge and organizing your life. It tells you to step into your power. The Page of Swords uh, represents being protective, guardian. Gar uh, sorry. Protective, guarded, vigilant. Um, it's also a card that denotes useful information. It tells you it's a time to be alert, to observe carefully what others are saying, and to be ready to take action. Next one is going to be the Ten of Pentacles, and that is going in the reversed position. Ten of, Ten of Pentacles reversed is a card of dishonesty and shady activities. So see, then again, here's your answer. Yes. Yes. The elite being shady activities, dishonest. Um, it's experiencing sudden and it, sudden and or expe unexpected changes. Yep. Losses. Um, feeling as if you've lost everything. It also shows communication and uh, problems in families because it's one generation trying to dominate the other. So yeah, this this is this is true because you know, from what I've read and stuff, and f for what they've um, groomed our children and that generation to be, is to be dependent on everything online. Like if you notice, these kids uh, they don't want to go out and um, do interactions anymore. They all interact over and socialize over the internet. Um, they're all about machines. They're all about this virtual reality and stuff. So our children will, that generation will be um, geared more towards accepting of combining human and machine DNA. They'll think it's cool. And our generation and on up will see it for what it truly is. Next is going to be the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is a card of action and drama and an immediate change. Once again. And this last card is the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands uh, represents arguments, conflicts, uh, struggles, oppositions, battles. It also shows a, a time of chaos and unruliness. So, once again, this goes right along with the first reading. I'm going to go with the answer being yes. Um, that is the agenda or the end game of the elite is to combine the human DNA with machines. And that's probably a lot to do with what's in the magic potion. So, I want to take a moment to thank you for spending a little time with me in this reading. And, as always, this is the Truth Confederacy, signing off.